Hi there everyone, it's Verity here from incubatorfly.wordpress.com Hope you're all doing well Thank you for joining me again today We're going to use um, one of our uh, retiring stamp sets uh, Well, I say retiring, it hasn't It's not the retiring list yet But we know it's not carrying over into the uh, new annual catalogue So we're bringing in uh, Spring Chime Joy uh, for the card today and I think everyone will look at this and go oh it, it's just Easter um, but we're going to do uh, a little thank you card with this one uh, today and I want to show you how to uh, mask so that you get to the three bunnies there together sort of uh, one in front of the other but with a flat card I mean you can do it by fussy cutting and things like that but we're going to do a little bit of masking and we're going to take the thank you from Happy Thoughts. So that's another one of the um, stamp sets from uh, the January to June mini catalogue that we're using. OK, so variation on the theme that's slightly different layout. Um, I kind of did the sample um, just with some cardstock that was lying around and had to make things fit. So I'm reverting back to what I know best and that is the uh, my usual card formula I've already prepped my uh, base card with crumb cake and um, uh, cardstock put a white layer on top and then I'm using what I call my mini layers so this is three inches across by four and three quarters yeah The old brain cells had to work hard then, <laughs> just, to, just to remember what I do every time. So when we are looking to stamp images so that we want someone to, to be at the front like this, um, it's we have to work from the front and stamp backwards if you get what I mean. So we're going to put the person who's going to be at the front, in this case this little bunny, um, is going to go down first, um, somewhere there. Okay, and then I've already cut um, what we call a mask. So what I did was I've uh, I used the residual ink to stamp the bunny again, and this is just on some um, st sticky note paper, and we can cover up that image, and I've cut it close so that the stamped line is just showing around the outside. It's really difficult to appreciate from there. But if you cut it just smaller than your stamp line, you're going to get the images coming together in a nice way. Um, and you won't get a, like a halo around them. So when we stamp again, we can stamp over the sort of over the edge of this bunny. Just making sure it's fitting in on the left because they're a little tighter on this particular layer. So you can see it's going over the yellow paper and that's going to make it look like this bunny is sat behind the other one with a leaf in his eye apparently from the, from the garland okay and then we can do the same on this side okay so just making sure his other ear is going to catch on the uh, right hand side there and we'll put our other bunny in that side Okay, so it's overlapping that yellow paper. So ordinarily we'd have got a bit of a hot mess there because of all the lines overlapping. But because we've masked it off, we can just take away that. So they appear to be in the front now, okay, without having to do any fussy cutting. So now we're going to have some fun colouring in because, you know... <laughs> we're going to colour in. So um, I I'm, think I'm going to uh, bring you in a little bit closer so that you can see a little little clear, more clearly what I'm doing. Um, I'll probably forget to zoom you back out again but there you go. Right, the first bunny is in uh, crumb cake. Okay so I'm using the crumb cake stamp and blend markers. I stamped in memento ink which means that um, uh, the outline image isn't going to bleed. I just need to make sure I'm still in shot because I've got you uh, zoomed in. So this is the light marker just going on just to put down a bit of base colour 
and sort of wet the card stock with the alcohol okay just very lightly and then we're going to come in with the uh, the dark marker and we're going to drop in some shadows where things overlap so under the garland and behind the garland there's going to be a, a shadow cast on the forehead and the ears of the bunny the little nose might be a little darker there'll be a shadow under his chin there under the hands around the sides and sort of where he makes contact or she I guess with the floor okay so that's where we're going to drop our shadows in and then we can come back in with our light marker and just go over that junction between the light and dark marker there just ever so slightly and then that harsh uh, line will start to disappear it doesn't happen straight away the ink has to um, or the alcohol has to do its work but eventually you'll see it start to melt away okay and then we get this kind of look so at the moment it still looks a little bit on the uh, stripy side okay but that's all going to dry back okay and we're going to end up with a nice um, smooth little uh, bunny okay are we still in shot there we are okay so that was crumb cake then we're going to, we've got two greys in the uh, colour palette for um, from Stampin' Up. We've got grey granites, so that's more of a earthy, um, sorry, earthy grey. So it's a warm, what we will call a warm grey. Exactly the same. I'm going over with the light marker first, just to lay down some colour. So you can see I'm not being particularly. Um, careful with this it's just to get some color in in place and then we're going to like we did with the other one just push in those shadows in exactly the same place but we've now got the ears overlapping here so we're going to add a little bit there under the garland and under the garland of the bunny next door and sort of down the side of this bunny next door because they're going to be casting a bit of a shadow okay but other than that we're going to put that in exactly the same places that we did before okay exactly the same process we're just going to go over those junctions and blend that out All the way down the side there underneath the chin and if you feel like you've possibly uh, lost the definition there's nothing wrong with going back in so there's a little bit I just feel like um, you, you can't get contrast without having some dark do you know what I mean so just putting it back in here and there it's just going to make the effect even better okay and just like with the other one it won't happen straight away but those colors will just blend together and you get a lovely little dimensional looking so that's our grey granite one and then we've got our other grey which is smoky slate 
So guess what? We're doing exactly the same thing. Um, so in other videos I have fast forwarded the colouring, but um, this isn't. These images aren't huge, and I'm not doing anything too fancy. But I wanted to explain the process, and I had three opportunities to do it. So there we have our. Um, So again, shadow is going to be cast by the one that's in front as well, as in the places where you'd expect it. So we'll just do that, like so. And again, we'll just bend out that line a little bit in exactly the same fashion. Don't need to press hard. The tips are very soft. So just I'm not applying a ton of pressure there at all. Just gently blending that in. And again, if you feel like you've lost any of that definition, you can put it back in. I'm happy enough with that though. Oh, one of my marker lids has come off. Make sure you've snapped those lids on, otherwise you're going to have a dry stamp and blend marker the next time you come to use it. Okie dokie. Right, before I forget, I'm going to zoom you back out, she says. Um, because I'm just going to colour in the garlands um, and there's no blending involved at all. Um, so, because they're super, super, super tiny. Um, I chose the light shaded spruce um, for the leaves. I've just, I've done them all the same. You can obviously uh, go to town on your colour choices here and bring in some different colours and shades if you want. I just wanted to keep it simple and show you this sort of masking technique really. Um, this is Flirty Flamingo. So they're all going to get same coloured flowers but in different places. Uh, that was the they're the light markers by the way. I just want to go for um I want them to be um sort of subtle colours, sort of pastely colours. And then the last one is going to be in so saffron. The original sample I, I mistakenly picked up Daffodil Delight and it was a bit bright. So so saffron's nice. There we go. It's a bit more subtle. There we go. Cute little bunnies. Aren't they adorable? Okay, um, if not a little drunk, they might be a little bit wonky, but you know what? It's a handmade card, right? I'm going to do the sentiment in early espresso just to tie in with the rest of the, um, of the card. Mounted it on this block. This is the H block. I love the H block. Um, for putting down sentiments. Um, early espresso, um, grey granite, smoky slate, those kind of colours, they're uh, basic grey, all nice alternatives to black if you don't want to use black all the time. Uh, and obviously uh, that was 
deliberate to, to choose early espresso because I'm mat matting it onto early espresso card just to um, finish that up. Okay. Now we could have picked out one of the colours from the other um, critters there as well. We could have used one of the greys um, and mixed it up slightly. So maybe do a smoky slate um, card base with a basic grey or grey granite layer, something like that we could have done. So um, there's your choice and we, we, the idea was to keep this flat. So this is not going up on dimensionals as most of you will know. <laughs> I, I do, do kind of like dimensionals, you know. Just think they add something. But sometimes you want something quick, easy, simple that you can just chuck in the post. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. Isn't it funny? Um, sometimes um, I literally get to this point in the card and I'm like, oh, now I like it. Just see me in your back out again. You were a little bit too tight on there again, weren't you? Um, yeah, this layout suits it much better and I think the bunnies are just huddled together in a tighter fashion and everything. So I think that masking technique has really come into its own um, for, the, for this card. And that simple thank you is really, really cute. Okay, uh, this was also from the, uh, the same set, the Happy Thought set. And I cut it with one of the new dies. Um, but yes, I think I prefer my, um, my new version. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. Nice, quick, simple, quick masking, quick colouring um, technique there to make a cute little thank you card. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, please do uh, and tap that notification bell and you'll see um, when I post a new video. Uh, the products I've used today are going to be linked in the description bar. Do check them out. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.